Hey, what's up, guys? This is Anand Kuri from Tech Academy, and today I'm gonna make a video in English because people think that I cannot be funny in English. <laughs> you to think this is not a comedy channel. This is a tech channel and a vlogging channel. Okay, so if I'm being funny, that's just a compliment. <laughs> okay, I forgot this is not my vlog. Okay, let's start with today's topic. That is Google. <laughs> let's talk about Google Pixel 5. You know, there are many. people out there who like to spread all the rumors and talk about everything about the phone before it releases so after collecting all those rumors here is what i got for you guys did you just notice that in the last 30 seconds i swore a lot of times yeah that's how i make my videos funny <laughs> So let's start with the design. You know the Google Pixel team is getting so lazy that they did not even think about a new design. They just took the design which is similar to Google Pixel 4a and they are using it same for the Google Pixel 5. I mean according to the rumors the Google Pixel 5 has no notch. It has a hole punch out camera on the left hand side. Smash it. It also doesn't have any buttons on one of the side of the cell phone. I believe it's the left side of the cell phone and the right side has all the buttons, the volume rockers and the lock button as well. Talking of the display, it has the 6 inch screen. The Google Pixel 4 had 5.7 inch screen with 90 hertz and this also has 90 hertz of refresh rate. Although most of the 2020 phones are coming up with 120 hertz or 144 hertz, but this is still sticking to the 90 hertz, which is not bad, but 120 hertz is 120 hertz. Now if you don't know what the refresh rate is refresh rate is nothing but it makes your screen looks more smoother the scrolling thing the you know switching between the application and everything that overall functionality on the screen the UI becomes more smoother because of the refresh rate talking about the CPU i don't know why but google had applied a different strategy so everybody is going upwards but they are going downwards for some reason i have no idea why so snapdragon 855 was a processor in Google Pixel 4 now in Google Pixel 5 they have Snapdragon 765G so although you won't see a big difference in that okay but there is a plus point there is a negative point the negative point is this is not the latest processor basically in the market so the plus point over there is company would be able to drop down the price of the device so the customer would be able to buy the device for a cheaper price woohoo that was not necessary So talking about the RAM and storage, the Google Pixel 4 had 6 gigabyte of RAM, and the Google Pixel 5 has 8 gigabytes of RAM in the base model. I mean, that is just one model, I guess. And then talking about the storage, the Google Pixel 5 have 128 gigabytes of storage. Like I said, there is just one variant, and I don't think that it's upgradable. So Google thought I won't be able to catch it, but yes, I did catch it. Talking about the camera, Google Pixel 4 had 12.2. Biryani. Google Pixel 4 had 12.2 megapixel camera as their standard camera and the Google Pixel 5 have 12.2 megapixel camera as well. Now the big difference between Google Pixel 4 camera and 5 camera, the Google Pixel 4 camera had a telephoto lens. The Google Pixel 5 does not have a telephoto lens. It has an ultra wide angle lens. So now your pictures would be bigger and better. Butter butter. <laughs> so if you have watched the video so far, you are an amazing person with an amazing tolerance level. And because of that, I'm gonna give you an amazing gift of talking about the last two features about the cell phone, which are the best features I would say compared to Google Pixel 4. I mean, one of them it's not a feature, but you'll like it. So the first one, the battery. The Google Pixel comes with 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which does meet the 2020 expectations. Whereas the Google Pixel 4 had just 2,800 mAh battery. So now having a bigger battery is a plus point because now you have a 765 G processor, which is an amazing processor by the way, and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. So easily you can last your cell phone for more than a day if you don't use it that intensely. Obviously, don't take your cell phone everywhere. I'm talking about the place where you poop. I do that all the time. And the last thing, which I said, it's not a feature. it's the price so is the google pixel 4 earlier was 799 dollars for the base model and google pixel 5 is 699 dollars so 100 dollar less than the google pixel 4 699 dollars which is around 53000 rupees in india my calculation sucks all right so let me remind you again all the things which i mentioned in the video are just rumors they can change but these are actually the final version of the rumors and i think and i hope that not much of the features would change out of these just for your information this cell phone have been rumored that it will be releasing at september 30th in united states and october 8th in india so if you plan to order or buy some other cell phone and you also have this cell phone in mind i would suggest you to hold on for a few more days and let them release you might be shocked what comes in that small box of the cell phone so 
why not do not forget to hit that like button do not forget to hit that subscribe button my head is aching now <laughs> You have no idea what things are coming up in this channel okay i make tech videos i make vlogs as well and the crazy vlogs are coming up if you're interested in vlogs no force if you're interested in tech still press the subscribe button any side fine let me complete my outro which is in hindi khush raho muskurate raho apni muskan ke samkan se dusro ko bhi ehsaat karo bye i'll see you in the next one take care